good morning students today i'll start with a exercise 4.1 continuation so i'll going to question number fourth one find the differential equation of the family of all straight line passing through the origin so what is the formula for equation of the straight line passing through the origin the formula is y equal to mx so question number fourth one let the equation of the straight line let the equation of the straight line passing through the origin b formula y equal to mx equation of the straight line passing through the origin y equal to mx only one arbitrary constant given the con concept is only one arbitrary constant one time you can differentiating this is take it for equation number 1 now we can differentiating with respect to x differentiating with respect to x we know that y differentiating dy by dx differentiation of x 1 so dy by dx equal to m now substitute in equation number 1 from 1 implies y equal to mx m means dy by d now dy by dx equal to m m value substitute in equation number 1 y equal to m m is dy by dx into x so this is the final answer now i'll going to question number fifth one from the differential equation that represent all parabolas each of which has a lattice rectum 4e and whose axes are parallel to x axis parabola given equation of the parabola y minus k the whole square equal to 4a into x minus h formula first you can write down the formula equation of the family equation of the family of parabola parabolas with the lattice rectum with the lattice rectum 4a and whose axes are parallel to x axis is the formula is y minus k the whole square equal to 4a into x minus h so this is the equation of the parabola to x axis what are the constant given h comma k so h comma k is a arbitrary constant two constant given 
differentiating two times differentiating with respect to x x power n differentiation n x power n x power n minus 1 inside of the bracket differentiating y dy by dx k 0 equal to 4a into differentiation of x 1 constant 0 now 2 into y minus k into dy by dx equal to 4a so this is take it for equation number 1 see the question 2 arbitrary constant given you can differentiate in 2 times again differentiating with respect to x this is take it for u this is take it for v u dot v now two table cancelling two times u dot v we know the formula for u dot v u v dash plus v u dash u y minus k v dash dy by dx differentiating d square y by dx square u v dash plus v u dash u dash y differentiating dy by dx k differentiating 0 differentiation of 2a 0 y minus k into d square y by dx square plus dy by dx into dy by dx dy by dx the whole square equal to 0 now plus inside minus so y minus k into t square y by dx square equal to minus dy by dx the whole square you will find y minus k y minus k equal to minus dy by dx the whole square divided by d square y by dx square y minus k the value is find out y minus k value substitute in equation number 1 so from 1 implies the first equation is y minus k the first equation is 2 into y minus k into dy by dx equal to 4a now so y minus k 2 into y minus k minus dy by dx the whole square divided by d square y by dx square into dy by dx equal to 4a now we can multiply so minus before you will write minus 2 dy by dx the whole square into dy by dx dy by dx the whole cube so dy by dx the whole cube equal to 4a into we can cross multiplying 4a into d square y by dx square now minus 2 of this term inside plus so 4a into d square y by dx square minus term inside plus 2a 2 into dy by dx the whole cube equal to 0 now 4a into 
d square y by dx square minus term inside plus 2 into dy by dx the whole cube it become equal to 0 now dividing by 2 so 2a into d square y by dx square 2 2 cancel plus dy by dx the whole cube equal to 0 this is the final answer I will going to question number 6th one find the differential equation of all circles passing through the origin and having their center on y axis so equation of all circles passing through the origin and center having y axis the formula is x square plus y minus k the whole square equal to radius square of the radius square of the radius or square so the formula is x square plus y minus k the whole square equal to r square question number sixth one equation of all circles passing through the origin passing through the origin and having the center on the y axis so the formula is x square plus y minus k the whole square equal to r square this is the formula so equation of all circles passing through the origin and having their center on the y axis the formula is x square plus y minus k the whole square equal to r square this is take it for equation number one only one constant given k so only one time differentiating now the equation formula x square plus y minus k the whole square equal to r square only one arbitrary constant given k one constant given one time you differentiating differentiating with respect to x so differentiation of x square 2x plus x power n n x power n minus 1 inside of the bracket you differentiating y dy by dx constant k 0 r square constant 0 so dividing by 2 2 removed x plus y minus k into dy by dx equal to 0 so plus x inside minus x y minus k into dy by dx equal to minus x you will find y minus k y minus k equal to minus x divided by dy by dx so 
y minus k. This is take it for equation number two. So we'll find the value of y. So y minus k is find out. So we'll find y. So y minus term inside plus plus x divided by dy by dx minus k it become plus k. This is take it for equation number three. So substitute in equation number one from one implies the first equation is x square plus x square plus y minus k y minus k is minus x by dy by dx the whole square equal to r square so here already you taking x square plus y minus k the whole square the radius you take it for k radius you take it for k here just to indicate radius is k since radius you take it for k radius you take it for k so k square k is y plus x by dy by dx the whole square now just will expand so x square minus squaring plus x squaring x square denominator squaring dy by dx the whole square it is in the form of a plus b the whole square a square plus b square plus 2 a b so these two terms get cancelled balance x square equal to y square plus 2xy divided by dy by dx so x square equal to y square plus 2xy the reciprocal of dy by dx that is dx by dy this is the final answer so the final answer is x square equal to y square plus 2xy into dx by dy now i'll going to question number 7th one find the differential equation of the family of parabola with the foci at the origin and x axis along axis is along x axis so equation of family of parabola with foci at the origin and axis along the x axis is y square equal to 4a into x plus a that is the formula so equation of family of parabola with foci at the origin and x axis axis along the x axis is y square equal to 4a into x plus a so equation of family of parabola 
with the four kind at the origin and axis along the x axis is the formula is y square equal to 4a into x plus a this is take it for equation number 1 now a is the arbitrary constant only one constant differentiating one time with respect to x now differentiating with respect to x y square we know that what is the differentiation of y square 2y into dy by dx 4a differentiation of x 1 constant 0 So now two y into dy by dx equal to four y. How many time? Two time. So y by two into dy by dx. Y by two into dy by dx equal to y. So this is take it for. This is take it for equation number two. This is take it for equation number three. You take first equation from one implies y square equal to four y into x plus y. Y square equal to four y. You see four y. Four y is two y into dy by dx. Into x plus y. Y is y by two into dy by dx. So y square equal to multiplying inside two x y into dy by dx. Here multiplying plus two y into y by two. dy by dx into dy by dx dy by dx the whole square to to get cancel y square equal to 2xy into dy by dx plus y into y y square into dy by dx the whole square here y given here y given here also y given you removing y how will you removing y dividing by y so dividing by y y removed balance 2x into dy by dx here one y removed y into dy by dx the whole square that is the final answer So, exercise two point four point one fully completed. So, next class I'll start with exercise four point two. So, thank you, children.